sick of filet? Sick of prime rib? Are you sick of the rack of lamb? You want something a little bit more out there in the world of meat? Well, meet this book, Odd Bits by Jennifer McLoggin. She has uh, a history, if you will, in writing great cookbooks that uh, go off the beaten path, if you will. They uh, take you down a road of ingredients and things you otherwise may not be using so frequently in your kitchen. Her other books, Bones and Fat, also big sellers and have a big following in the community. If you've ever watched Anthony Bourdain or Andrew Zimmer and you saw some of the uh, food they're eating in other countries where it's much more acceptable and normal to eat other parts of the animal and fully use it to the extent uh, that they were intended to be used for and went, that looks pretty good. I wish I could get that around here. I wonder how they make that. I wonder how to do that. This book will tell you how. Seriously, lots of really interesting recipes in here. Uh, if you're uh, a little bit curious about maybe uh, brains, well, take a starter course in cheese and just a little brains fritters. The recipe in the book. Some other stuff, wine braised, beef cheeks, uh, Peruvian heart kebabs, uh, whole veal shank, oxtail ravioli, that sounds excellent, uh, chocolate blood ice cream, there's one for Halloween. Uh, I know a lot of folks are hearing these things going, oh my god, Tony, I would never try any of that. Don't knock it until you try it. I mean, think about it. When you were uh, you know, a little kid and you started eating things other than hot dogs and macaroni, remember the first time you had foie gras, if you're a lover of foie gras? and afraid of stuff like this. Uh, what, what was your reaction? Oh my gosh, I never thought I would like this. This is the same thing with a lot of these types of meat. So I really highly, highly suggest this book. The only downfall I see of having this book in your collection is the ability to get some of these cuts. So it really does kind of require you to have a relationship with a butcher or a meat cutter of some sort that can actually get you some of these cuts to work with because you're certainly not gonna go find them on the shelf at the local Piggly Wiggly. Great book, can't wait to try some of this stuff out. And I hope you will be open enough to try some of it as well.